Hey, I'm Cadence Kidwell, proprietress at Fuzzy Goat in downtown Thomasville, and I've got some southern girl-made bags to show you and some yarn. You can find all the stuff I'm going to be talking about at fuzzygoatyarns.com. And so let's start with the bags. Oh my gosh, it's been a huge bag week this, this week. So two uh, very special bag makers. This, these are the, our tassel bags made by Treasure in Central Florida. And she, uh, she makes just the greatest bags. They usually go super fast. This time I went in a little deeper so we can have them um, <laughs> for a couple weeks this time. And so they all have tassels on them, really generous, really fun tassels. Each tassel's different. They all have uh, bright insides. Each color on the inside is going to be different. And it's screen printed. Treasure makes these with our logo on them. They have a gusset. You all know how I am about gussets so that it, it stands up with you kind of like as a, uh, as a bowl, a project bowl, and, um, and no zippers or anything to get caught on your knitting, and you can just cinch it like that. And we also have some straps from um, our Magner bags that we have a link to if you want to put a strap on it. So let me show you these really cute patterns. We got the cherries here. So these really sweet cherries. And I love watching you guys all tune in with us. Thank you very much. We have the fawn print. I have to say this is the plainest of the group, but this one is my favorite. I think I'm, you know, some of you is like, I already have one. I'm like, I think I might have three. So this is probably going to be my fourth. Um, this one I'm super fond of because I actually just got this rug uh, this rifle paper rug for my office so uh, you can have a little bit of fuzzy goat on your bag and also know that it's like the like the office rug here too so that's really cool this one's called mystical and um, and then this one here we aren't sure if these are peaches or oranges so they can be either one either one you want it to be we called it citrus, so I kind of went with my Florida roots, but I could have just as easily gone with my Georgia locale. And um, so this one's called citrus. This is super fun. And then the last one is an old favorite that flies out of here every dang time, and that's the cream bees with these bees on there. Um, Treasure does a great job. They're really sturdy bags. I, like I said, I like this gusset on there. It's got a nice heft to it these webbing handles, all of that is just a great a great piece for hauling around your projects in there. I really love them. You guys do too. They sell out. This time I got a, as big an order as Treasure could reasonably do without driving herself nuts because that's what we want to do is uh, keep these young entrepreneurial women uh, flowing along, but we don't want to um, you know we don't want to break their backs either so just look at these look at look at all these together aren't these fun so these are the tassel bags that we got in that treasure makes in central florida then we have these other bags i want to show you also last time i got these bags we put them in our facebook group and they sold out in 12 hours this time i went ahead and placed a super big order from ashley and she makes what we're calling the funky project bag. So this is, um, and I've actually, I don't have it with me today. I've actually taken my tassel bag and I can put two projects in this one here. And I've put my tassel bag in here and then some other things. In fact, I even got my, um, it's kind of like a basket. I've, I've even uh, still have part of my breakfast <laughs> wrapped up in here and I can kind of use it. I took this one with me on, um, my trip to Memphis, it makes a great car knitting bag because it kind of, it, it sits sits firmly. Let me back up a little bit so you can see. It sits firmly. It's made out of this great denim, um, but I could reach down in there and get what I need. And so it comes in this, uh, this one is called the Shibori and it's blue and they range. We tried to show you in um, the Shibori that, the, that there's a range of different ones. And so each one is unique but they're all blue. Um, and then she also has this one here, which is raspberry. The raspberry has this really fun, colorful webbing on here. And let me show you how they've also got pockets on the one side. One side has pockets along here. So I can put my uh, stitch, uh, my row counter in there. 
uh, my tin with my uh, stitch markers in there. And I'm just loving these. And so Ashley makes these. We're the first yarn shop to get them. And we found her because of our Magner bags. She's friends with Casey Magner, so they're made in Athens. And she just makes the most delightful bags. Great attention to detail. So these two we had before, and they didn't last long. And then she sent me a color card, and I picked two other colors for you too. So we've got this uh, yellow, which we're call, uh, called Dandelion. And so, with recycled leather handles. So they don't close like the tassel bag cinch um, close. These stay open. So they also make great bags for next to your next to your chair and your decor. And this one's called Wisteria, which actually looks just like the Wisteria that we have here in the South. I'm just really proud of these young women and the bags that they make and that they make for you all and think so carefully about knitters. This is a, a nice denim. It's just got a really great heft to it. Um, that we can bring you these young women and their work so we've got uh, Ashley's funky project bags and we have uh, treasures tassel bags Central Florida and Athens Georgia they're on our website at fuzzygoatyarns.com then also speaking of girl made items we have some new skirts right now here is and each of them have uh, we only have one of each and they are online um, so that you can choose these here. And I'm seeing George Ann's comment about thank you for ordering the Wisteria. Yes, it's a lovely shade of purple. I was thinking of you. I'll get to the yarn up here. So this skirt, and I don't have the names of them with me, but you can see them online. I believe this one might be the Liberty print in there. Um, this one here has something to do with bunnies or rabbits. Isn't that cute? And um, so it's mostly peach, but then there's like a little bit of teal in there and these skirts are a smidge longer i've got the length for all the skirts up on the website so that you can see that too this one we've had before and so uh, d has made us this one again which is the uh yellow roses on aqua and let's see let me get to the other ones here we've got this uh, i think this one's called orange farm this is by far the brightest really cute little little uh, yellow bits on there and then the kelly green um this one is called um um i think it's called rustic pagoda it's just a little bit shorter this one i can't remember the name of this one right now this one's super fun too and then we have two seersucker ones that you can also find online at fuzzygoatyarns.com they're a little bit lighter weight so see you can kind of see my hand if I hold it up to the ring light in there um, so it's a gray kind of railroad stripe and then this one's longer and I've got the length up there too so we got some fun skirts so let's talk about yarn too all right Madeline Tosh is back we had had Madeline Tosh before uh, we didn't have it for a while and so I'm really happy to show you this base here which is uh, new for us which is wool and cotton DK so it's that rare indie dyed cotton it's just got a lovely artistic color to it because it's hand dyed which is not easy to do on a cotton and it has a cooler hand than hundred percent wool but it's, it will hold its shape because it does have the breathable wool in there so you're going to end up with a sweater you're really going to wear because it's cool and it fits because the wool will really kind of give it some give and help it fit which is exactly what we want here in the summer so let me show you these yarns and we're really glad about having um Madeline Tosh back they've got new management since two, uh, 2019 and they've really embraced diversity in a really big way so we're proud to support them and have that have that back in the fold it's dyed in texas and while we're on that subject of diversity if you've watched this far into the show or seen me before you probably won't be surprised that i just want to say my heart is just breaking you know as a as a 62 year old white woman who lives in the south you know with enough privilege to own her own store i realize that my view um comes from a different place and my experiences do but i want to just challenge all of us because i can talk to you guys about just making our world safer 
our black friends, neighbors, community, they deserve to be able to go to the grocery store and not feel like they're targeted. Um, just if I think about it for one more second, I'll start crying, which is not we're here to talk about the yarn. But I do want to say, let's let's all do our part to make our world more accepting and safer. Okay. Yarn. Madeline Tosh also wanted to do that too. So they've got um, these beautiful new colors and new management and really fun. So this one here is called Candle Wick. If you've been wanting to make the look squirrel sweater that I have in Buttonwood, this would be really great and have a little bit of cotton in it also. So um, there's candle. Let me tell you about the yarn. It's a DK weight. It is merino wool and Pima cotton, 50-50. So the Pima also gives it a little kind of nice sheen and it will hold its shape better than some other cottons. Um, what could you do with it that's only got, if you only want to use one uh, skein, you could make <laughs> shameless self-promotion. You could make my uh, Crescent City I'm wearing it right now in um, Entropy, which is just one skein. So you could do that. It would be really cute in a solid color, but also in a multicolor here. And if you really like these good vibes patterns that Janet and Sarah and I write, you can also, and you haven't been on our good vibes tour, which is a three-stop tour. Right now we have our Encore box on sale where it's a one show one time you could see what it's all about and I will go ahead and put the link up for that in a little bit too um, so but Melissa has gathered up just look at these happy colors has gathered up some really fun patterns for these two okay so you guys are ready for this one this one is Stephen West's shorts with no pockets so we can make shorts out of the cotton right that would be perfect for these Melissa goes, should we show shorts? I'm like, I don't know how many of you guys watching are going to want to make shorts, but maybe somebody does. And nonetheless, it's good for us to know that there are people who are knitting shorts, right? So that would be, you can make ones just like that with this color here, which is Arctic, and then trim it with dandelion, right? Um, who says knitting is all about shawls to keep you warm in the long-term care? <laughs> trying to think of the oldest thing i could think of right people this is not what people think we do that is not what we do at all look at this super cute uh botanical tea here so you could depending on sizes you would need three to five skeins and it, it's a dk and it, that would be really great and kind of hold its shape in there also um the hipster shawl is up here and i would do that with the uh not the lightweight but i would do the the hipster shawl uh the worsted one and go ahead and use uh, the DK for it. And you could do it in two if you maybe did a little less tassels or a few fewer rows. But you could do three and just go full on. If you wanted to make a wrap, this one too would be really pretty in this cotton. Let's look at a few more colors. We have, I showed you Arctic. This one's really pretty too. This one's called the Feels. It's just the slightest bit periwinkle other than that i'd say it's a really great denim and you can see the difference between arctic and the feels this is a more uh blue or blue and it's just a slightly purpley blue um this one i love this color too this one's called undergrowth and it has a really nice kind of deep aqua kind of turquoise but you can see that it's hand dyed because you can see the variations in there um, this is a great neutral called Antique Lace. So if you're familiar with the Malintosh colors at all, you'll know that that's a real uh, steady standard. And then this one, let's get to some fun, vibrant ones. This one is Fire Opal. And I say vibrant, but cotton does take the dye differently. So you won't see super saturated, intense colors like you do in the wool. Um, but, but just... That is really something to see in a cotton and not very common. This one is, this one called Night in Chili. And it's got those little speckles in there that we just love. And this last one here is uh, Jaded Dreams. J Jade is a great uh, descriptor. And then it's got little bits of pale yellow in there, which would look really great in something like uh the hipster or the crescent city and melissa has one more pattern here to show you 
which is the Frankie bucket hat for crocheters. I think this would be so cute in the cotton with the wool. It wouldn't be too hard to do with the wool in there because it's going to be a little gift, but it's really going to hold its shape. So that would be really great too. Um, and Sherry says her oldest would wear those shorts to a music festival. And how cool would you be to be the one that knit her the shorts for the music festival? Great. That's a great idea. And then you and I, Sherry, can wear a skirt. <laughs> the French market skirts to the music festival. Um, so that's what we got in today. We got in our uh, we got our tassel bags. We got our funky uh, project bags. We got some great skirts, and we got the Malintosh wool and cotton. Um, I have cast on a new project. I've been interviewing it all week. I'm going to do. You know, I wad up my pattern here. I'm going to do this one here. It's called Black Thorn thinking that I will have it done by fall. It's really big. I'm, I, mine was not going to have this much ease. Uh, she had in here, and I'll continue to talk about this on other shows. She's modeling it with 12 inches of ease. I think I'm going to have 6 inches of ease. And I've been really thinking about what colors I want to use. And I think I'm going to, the ones that I saw online that I liked the best had a dramatic difference between the two. My body might be a cream color to go with this rusty red, which is Neighborhood Fiber Co.'s Bolton Hill. But as I was working on it in the car this morning, um, because again, this makes a great car knitting bag, I, for some reason, was really thinking green. So now it's not near as dramatic as I thought, but I'm loving this uh, less traveled uh, pine jack pine tweed. I know that this is kind of red and this is green and that's kind of Christmassy, but I like these colors and I might wear, I might, that kind of sweater, a big kind of fun sweater like that might make me really happy to wear. Um, so that's what I'm interviewing and thinking about now. Thanks for watching all these different things that I've been talking about. Uh, I'm going to go and put the links up here and, um, and let's just go out and make our world just a little bit kinder today, right? So that the news at the end of the day, uh, at the end of this Saturday, is about how we love somebody who might look or live a little bit differently than we do. Have a great Saturday.